Mr. Baxter. Yes, I, I was remiss in not mentioning our uh, stellar EMO office that was down there at every turn, at their every waking moment. So uh, I appreciate their help. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Any other, Mr. Forrest? Um, as uh, Chairman of the Health and Human uh, Services, uh, I had uh, very interesting meetings with uh, Kathleen Cuddy and with Greg Zari, um, getting much better understanding of uh, just how important those departments are and how big they are. Um, it's very informative. Um, and I want to give people a heads up that uh, this evening, um, under new business, I'll be uh, reintroducing the uh, motions that got tabled in May, uh, authorizing uh, uh, Phil for staff development supervisor and Phil for social services attorney. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So. My report will be fairly short because I think we have uh, quite a long agenda. The, um, I too was going to mention, and I will, will the echo what the, uh, Mr. Baxter said. The, I think the flooding in the southern part of the county has put a strain on resources, both, both locally and the county. Our highway department has responded. Our emergency management office has responded. They've worked long, long hours, and the, uh, they're to be absolutely commended. The, uh, on and as, as are all of the, the citizens and the public officials in the part of the county who have been, they, uh, have, a, have their hands full with infrastructure repairs and problems. As I reported last month, uh, the, the work that needs to be done on our shared services plan is such that I reported last month it was likely that we would push that off until 2018. The, and so the, uh, we will be doing that. I will have a formal report the, to you all by on or about August 1st, as required by the law, and I'll be convening the, the, uh, the group within a week or so to actually the, uh, um, go through the formal process of, of voting and so on. But I wanted to give you a heads up tonight. The, in addition to the floods, we're involved in a search process. We're beginning our, our organizational examination been involved in, in lots of, of, uh, of activity. But as I say, the agenda tonight is pretty long. So in, if, I'll stop here and see if anyone has any specific questions of me, which I'll be happy to answer. Mr. Lattimore. Mr. Chairman, uh, one of our big uh, bills annually is our health costs. And uh, uh, one of the representatives who, she works for Blue Cross Blue Shield. I'm, I'm not on the consortium board anymore excuse me from that board, but she represents 14 states, and I'm just wondering which board or presentation, I mean, I, I think the whole board should hear as to where the world of uh, health insurance is going. I don't know whether a short presentation here uh, would be better for all of us to hear or just the consortium board. I don't, I guess I don't know who you're talking about or what presentation you're referencing. Yeah, I, I mean, she's an expert and she handles 14 different states. I, is this someone you know or is this someone yes, it's in a relationship with the Oh, okay. And I, I think it might, okay. might be good for this whole board to hear what, what. Well, since we work through the consortium, my suggestion would be that the perhaps we, we ask the consortium if the, uh, or the, to uh, pursue that. I mean, that would make make sense to me if it has to do with it has to do with health insurance. Yeah, and I, I know that the telemarketing uh, Zach Zuckerman was here from uh, from uh, Key Bank uh, to update us. But I mean, the Ways and Means is a small board. I mean, I couldn't stay. I had another commitment. But uh, well, that was through the consortium. That's what I'm getting at. There, there are health insurance. Why don't we do this? Since the the uh, um, the why don't you? Uh, Give us, a, give, give me, give the consortium, give someone some more information. We'll follow up on it. Well, I just like to have the whole board understand where. Understand. Where the health insurance. I, I do understand. I, that's good. Does any? But yeah. So if we, I, that's what I'm saying. If you can get me or the consortium some more information, we'll follow up. <clears throat> okay. 
Any other questions? Okay, great, thank you. We have no appointments or reappointments. I don't think, do we? Nope. Okay. Communications and announcements. <coughs> if I could have a motion to dispense with the reading. Move it. Move and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, I'll pause uh, again now to see if anyone wants to speak on the local laws. Very good, thank you. Our regular monthly resolutions. Ms. McNabb Coleman. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to present 1A and 1B. Um, they've been through committee, and I'd like to see them pass through here tonight. Okay, does anyone object to handling these together? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? We have one opposed. Mr. Pinkney. WM1 um, was added on 720. It's um, addressing increasing the rate of taxes on sales and uses of tangible personal property and of certain services <coughs> and on occupancy and of hotel rooms and amusement charges pursuant to Article 29 of the tax law for New York State. Um, so this is just to address the, um, the state and the governor finally approved the county's 1% sales tax extension. Um, so this must be completed and processed prior that to November 17th in order to extend the county's 1% sales tax. So this was added to the agenda this evening. Okay, so could we have, so, a, we'll have to have a motion and a second for this? Second. Is there a motion and a second? Is there discussion? Mr. Jensen. I've had discussion with Fred, which is why he's smiling and laughing. This is just doing what we've been doing. God, can we? I know, you told me lawyers. I well, hate, I hate we, the wording, because it sounds like we're. Right, yeah, right. yeah. We have to do this every two years? Every three years. Three years, yeah. And Can't the, you uh, lawyers figure out a way to change the wording? We're afraid to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. WM2 is added, uh, 7 2017. Uh, this was born out of um, discussion at Ways and Means. Authorizing the chair of the Q County Legislature to enter into a contract with CNS companies to prepare a property development study. So this needs to be moved. Okay. We'll have some discussion on this. Mr. Whitman. I just want to roll call vote. Okay. I'll second it. Wait. Don't need a one roll call vote. We do a roll call vote. We don't even have to vote on that. Thanks for the support, though, Mr. Latimer. <laughs> Always glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there, any, is there any is there any discussion on the on the uh, the motion. Mr. Dens. Yeah, if we're going to do something like this, I mean, we earlier there was a presentation from Wendell that we some of us sat in on. I just think that we need to have more than one. I mean, competition makes the world go around. And we need to look at not just what it would cost to build a new building, but what it would cost to renovate the old building to have at least, I, I, I realize why this is being done, but we need to have at least two or three, in my opinion. I mean, I know Wendell gave us an estimate that some don't think is real, so let's get a real one if we're going to go this route. So this present time, I guess I don't support this. Mr. Pinky? I won't be supporting this either, um, only for the fact that when I asked the question of what the $4,600 entailed, I believe that if we're serious about doing something with, with this building or another building, uh, once we move along into the um, procedure and the process, that'll be part of the money spent that will spell all of that out. So I won't be supporting it for that reason. Thank you. Ms. Foley. Um, I'm still hoping, uh, similar to my request from at Ways and Means, that this can go back for another month as it's not an emergency resolution. We can send it back to committee. It doesn't appear that that's what's going to happen, um, and I will be voting no uh, 
for that reason. Mr. Lattimore. Mr. Chairman, there, there has been some uh, other buildings that might, might possibly be available. Uh, instead of having elevators and that, it might be better to have it on one floor. Uh, and, and some of that space is, is probably cheaper than to build new. And I'd like to see us explore some of that if we could. Okay. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with this, this particular motion. Right. Well, we're exploring one. I'd, I'd like to expand that exploration in regards to existing buildings, new buildings. Oh, okay. Renovated buildings. Right. So you're not opposed to this. You simply want a more expansive look. Well, if we, if we expand it, I'd like to see some competition, as was mentioned. Oh, okay. Mr. Baxter. I might have missed it, or maybe they whispered, but I didn't hear the motion in second for this. Well, I think that's what Sheila sent me think, but my understanding is, is this was moved and seconded in it Ways and Means, so it's a report from committee, or no? Did I yes, miss understand? Technically, it wasn't on Ways and Means agenda. But it was moved and seconded there, was it not? To, it was moved to have Fred draw up the Ah, of my, forgive me then. Yes, sir. In that Consider case, could. Consider yourself forgiven. Thank you. Could I have a motion? <laughs> and a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Okay. Thank. Thank you. All. I was mistaken. So. Okay. Are there any more, any other uh, comments, questions? Okay. So we had a request for a vote, a, a roll call vote. So we would do so. Tucker Whitman. No. Andy Dennison? No. Ben Vitale? Yes. Grant Kyle? No. Paul Pinkney? No. Aileen McNabb Coleman? Yes. Joe DeForest? Yes. Terry Baxter? No. Joseph Bennett? No. Frank Reginelli? Yes. Patrick Mahonick? Yes. Timothy Lattimore? No. Michael Diddy is excused. Ryan Foley? No. Keith Bevan? Yes. Defeated. So I believe that defeat is defeated. Okay. Does that conclude your report? Yes. Thank you. Okay, Health and Human Services. Well, wait, before we go on, I, I don't think it's the case, but let me ask, is there anyone who wants to speak to the law, the two laws? Okay, thank you. Now, if we could the, uh, move on to Health and Human Services. Mr. Chairman, we have uh, 15 resolutions. I'd like to bundle them. They've been through committee. Okay, anyone object to bundling the 15? Okay, in that case, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Mr. Foley. Mr. Chairman, Government Operations has two resolutions. They've both been through committee and ways and means, passed unanimously, and I move them forward tonight. I think we'll need to separate these yeah. because one requires two thirds. Right. But if we can start with then. GO1. GO1. GO1 authorizes Cougar County Clerk to fill the position of Cougar County Historian part time and advertised to fill this position, amending comp plan and amending 2017 budget. Thank you. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Opposed. Ms. Jensen's opposed. GO2? GO2 authorizing the amending of the county attorney's 2017 budget to provide additional funding for building and fire codes officer. This does require a two-thirds vote. Okay, thank you. This records two-thirds, but anticipating there's going to be little or no opposition, the, uh, is there any discussion? So, discussion. We, I mean, we discussed this, obviously, at committee. I mean, we're kind of hands-tied here, no matter what. If we, if we run over what you didn't anticipate it being a huge dollar amount to start with. Right. So I'm anticipating that the shortfall will be about $4,000. There's a change in the contract to uh, up the rate to cover some of his expenditures. 
uh, that that passed after the budget passed, and I did not anticipate that when I put the budget together at the end of 16, that there would be additional funding required. But I hope line, to get. We can't not pay. To well, person. we can always not pay our bills. Well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good practice, but it's not like we can right. find another code enforcement officer for the last two months because we're deciding not to pay this one. I'm not sure where you get the money to pay the next code well, exactly. enforcement officer. Yes, exactly. Well, exactly. Like it or not, we kind of got to do this. Yeah. Any other questions? So all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank okay, you. I think that's unanimous and therefore two-thirds. Thank you. Planning. Mr. Chairman, planning has four resolutions. All four have been through com both committees. I'd like to offer them as a bundle. Seek approval. Does anyone object to bundling these? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Tim's opposed? Oh, I'm sorry. Tim, are you opposed? I, I'd just like to make a statement in, in regards to the solar. I would uh, like us to have at least two proposals on that property. And I think there was one mentioned before the, the regional planning and there's <coughs> no, it's too late. It's been approved. We'd have to. We could. Um, do you want to? Do, do you want to? We approved. We approved this. So, do you want to make an, another motion to well, modify this in some way? I'm all in favor of solar power, green energy. Uh, as mentioned before, you know, two proposals are better than one. And I think, you know, regional's doing a pretty good job, but I'd also, like, I believe when I was chairman, we had other proposals that I brought to Chairman Chapman at the time uh, to look into. So I'd like to have two proposals if possible. Does well, this limit, does this limit anybody not, else from giving a proposal on that property? That's not possible for this project. Now, what we could do, if the project moves forward and there's a proposal to use that, that the land for something, at that point we could could go out for for bid, I think. But this this is not the, the, the this does not look at the the kind of RFP process that you're talking about. Well, I just I don't want it to be a closed situation. Just the regional, I'd like to see. Well, we entered into to be clear, there was an RFP process. The, this went through a significant process that included members from Kapusa, as well as other members in the county, who, who requested and vetted, I think, six, I think there were initially six proposals. At least six. And, the, and those, from that RFP process, a partner was chosen. So there has been an RFP process that involved a variety of partners. The, um, I think what, what oh, I'm not sure. I think if, if what you're suggesting is prior to entering into a final agreement that we should re examine our options, I think this leaves us free to do so. Because that's the way I would read it. So the time to bring that up would be at the point at which we're ready to move forward, or before then, but, but the, uh, once we move, move forward with this, if I understand correctly. Well, I think in, in, in the uh in the committee, it was brought up that maybe a Canadian outfit versus a U.S. outfit, you know, uh, whether the panels are made in the U.S. versus China. So well, I think it would be U.S. or Germany, wouldn't it? With solar. China makes a lot of them. But anyways, yeah. uh, I just want the, I want the program to be open okay. to okay. other vendors. Okay, noted. Thank you. Okay, Public Works. Mr. Chairman, Public Works has two resolutions. They've been through both committees and approved. I would bundle them, unless someone would like them separated. Does anyone want these separated? In that case, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Judicial Public Safety. Mr. Chairman, before I get into resolutions, I would like to extend uh, some gratitude to Deputy Dan Emmy and Navigation Assistant Kevin Gothier for their assistance on a situation on Cuba Lake, um, and would like to request that we um, do a proclamation and have them at the next meeting. 
for saving a gentleman's life. Great. Going forward, JP Judicial Public Safety has four resolutions. Two were pulled at committee. We have JP 1, 2, 5, and 6. I would like to offer them as a bundle unless anybody would like any separated. Does anyone want any of these separated? In that case, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Okay, before I close the public hearing on the local laws, last chance for anyone who has any comments, input, insight, or opinion, or simply would like to come up and say a few words. Okay, in that case, I'll close the public hearing on the local laws. So before, now let's consider these now. Let's do the, the uh, local laws now. So we need a motion or these? We don't. We should have a motion. Okay, so if I could have a motion, the, uh, I think we can, can take sure. these together since they're so closely related. So if I could have a motion for these laws. Motion one. Don't you want to separate, yeah. mm -hmm. don't you want to separate uh, one and two? You mean because of the amendments? Yeah, we can, we can go nuts. <laughs> okay, so we, we have a motion in a second. I think we do have some amendments on um, led local law two, ledge two. So, Mr. Foley. It's on me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we have amendments that Fred suggested at government operations uh, to tighten up the law and he swears on everything that they have to be introduced and voted on tonight. Um, I'm going to do that, or at least attempt to do that, and um, bundle.